college sports. Mm. Got the ideal guess for this. Uh, Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban, he was on Cavuto yesterday. He sounded off on paying NCAA players. Roll that tape, please. A couple things. One, I think the NCAA is a mess. They're a big source of the problems. I mean, they're, they're very bureaucratic. They, they're, they don't really... Their, their interests aren't really aligned with all their schools. They're certainly not aligned with players' interests. But set that aside, when it comes to paying, paying players as employees, then you have to ask yourself, what happens if they get fired? You know, what happens if you want to fire them? Do we want to start firing student-athletes? Good question. Look who's here. Dave Portnoy, founder of Barstool Sports and a regular guest on this program and a star in his own right. Should we pay, <laughs> stop laughing, college <laughs> athletes? Yeah, I think you probably do have to pay them. Uh, it, you know, I love fo college football. I love college basketball. It's figuring it out. I think they should just do a salary cap. Give each school a set amount of money. Fight for players. Pay the players. That's the easiest way to see it, that I see to do it. See, I come at this from a complete outsider. I wasn't yep. born and raised in America, so I don't have that feel for college sports not getting paid, the amateurs really putting their effort into the game. So I'm away from all of that. Would it actually destroy the way we feel about college sports if you're paying them? Well, I mean, most people care about big-time college sports. We're not talking D3, and if you have a brain, you already know that it's a business. I mean, these kids, a lot of them aren't going for the education. They're going, they're getting paid under the table, they're doing this and doing that. So to me, it doesn't change it. It's already professional sports. It's already a big business. So you might as well just bring it to the forefront. I mean, nobody likes the NCAA. The NCAA is corrupt. They don't, everybody hates them. It doesn't matter what side of the aisle, who you're for. Really? Everyone hates the NCAA. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. No, they're despised. Why are they so unpopular? Because they act like they act like they have the uh, students' interests in mind in the schools, and they don't. It's decision after decision after decision where they're just about making money, which is fine, but then you have to pay the athletes. You have to pay the people making you the money. Uh, I think this refers essentially... In California, yeah. this allows college athletes to get an agent so they can charge money for endorsements and charge money for using their own image right? in a, in a game, a, a video game. I can't see what's wrong with that. Well, what's wrong with it will be if California is the only state that does it, right. everyone's going to go play football in California. And then all of a sudden, yeah. guess what? The SEC stinks. The Big Ten stinks. The Pac-12 will be the best. So it's got to be uniform. I don't know how – that's why I say do the salary cap. If you go state by state, it's mm. going to be a mess. Maybe the end of college athletics. So really what it means is California is dictating the terms to the rest of the country and the NCAA doesn't get a word in. Yeah, you got you – got and the NCAA is like – you know, that's voluntarily. The schools could go do their own thing. I'll be honest. I don't care about the issue. I care about this. I want to be able to watch college football on a Saturday. Yeah. I want to be able to bet on college football. I want to be able to do what I do. This is putting the whole thing. It starts, I think, 2023. Yep. they got to come up with a universal law or else the whole thing is going to fall apart. That's just fascinating. Even though I'm a complete outsider to it, I find it fascinating. Dave Portnoy, thank you very much for being here as usual, Dave. It's always good blast. stuff. It is? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're a good guest. That's a fact. <laughs> All right. More Varney after this.